Okay, so Veterans Day is closely approaching, and we here at SAC and Co. are very thankful for all the men and women who have served in our military. In fact, there's an upcoming event honoring those men and women, and here to tell us more, we have Dave, we have Kristen, and we have Hamza right here. So a warm welcome Nailed to it. all three of you right here on SAC and Co. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes, and um, explain to us first, though, what is do love live what does that mean I'll take it from here so uh, do love live is actually a passion project uh, we are a group of storytellers a very diverse group uh, from all paths of life mm -hmm. and uh, we are on a mission to create positive change by um, inspiring people to do good um, to live now and to love big uh, we do that through real-life stories that we share mm -hmm. and um, we focus on the mo the commonalities that we have among each other in our group, we're over a dozen of people that contribute to this project, and um, each one of us is different from mm -hmm. from the next. Uh, but we realize that our similarities and commonalities are far more important than our differences. Absolutely, and that's what we kind of. Uh, that's what we really want Do Love Live mm -hmm. to be. Uh, we want it to be a common ground for people to come together a and way do for people good to things. Connect. Absolutely, connect yeah. and celebrate. And where do we see these stories? Um, you could go on our website, dolovelive.com, okay. and we have a lot of these stories, and we also have a lot of our projects that are ongoing. So in addition to providing the material uh, on our website and mm -hmm. having that common ground, we believe in action as well. And so uh, some of the things that we've, we've only launched a few months ago, it mm -hmm. was late um, June when we launched, and uh, we've started a Hope for Marion campaign mm -hmm. uh, to fight NPC, which is Neiman Pick Disease Type C, mm -hmm. and what that is is actually Alzheimer's in children. Oh. It's a very sad and... Um, I was never even familiar with this it, diagnosis. It's very so rare. Okay. It's hard to diagnose. It's mm -hmm. a very rare disease. And uh, we started this campaign to bring awareness for it through the No, no Pucker Challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to eat a lemon and try not to pucker. And oh. it, that thing, has. It, we're kicking off that campaign mm -hmm. really well. We're raising a lot of funds for the NPC Research Foundation mm -hmm. and hoping to find a cure. And our next... Uh, Mm -hmm. humanitarian project that we would like to take on is um, help with preventing suicide rates among veterans. And, and that, that's a big deal and that's actually probably one of the main focuses of the conversation we're Absolutely. having here today. Absolutely, I know that there's yeah. a, a party happening, right? It yeah. is. Okay, so yeah. tell us about this party and how this is going to help with the whole prevention of suicide amongst veterans. Mm -hmm. So we'll be throwing a community event party in McKinley Park mm -hmm. on Veterans Day, which is November 11th um, from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun for everyone. Uh, there'll be food truck, local food trucks, uh, local breweries. Uh, we'll also have bounce houses, keeping it very family friendly, mm -hmm. face painting. Um, a lot of fun activities planned for the day uh, to help uh, raise proceeds that we're going to be mm -hmm. donating to Objective Zero, mm -hmm. uh, which is the project we're um, kind of sponsoring. This okay, event. so Objective yeah. Zero is kind of the, the movement to help prevent uh, veteran suicide, right? And it's going to help yeah. those veterans that have those suicidal thoughts. So, so share with us how this works. Yeah, Melissa, I mean, the unfortunate reality today is there is a real suicide epidemic among the veteran population, mm -hmm. and this is nationwide. A good way to think about it is check your clock. In about an hour, mm -hmm. another veteran will commit suicide. So anywhere between 20 and 22 suicides on average happen a day. Wow. And Objective Zero is a fantastic organization which we're supporting and they uh, created this mm -hmm. app to really scale accessibility to suicide prevention mm -hmm. and more so wellness resources as well too because it's one thing to be able to interject at that point of crisis mm -hmm. um, and just be an empathetic ear which is kind of the co-founders model after a real life scenario mm -hmm. where the, one of the two main co-founders was having some of these mm -hmm. unfortunate, very visceral and very actionable suicidal thoughts, and it was just an empathetic ear and an immediate real-time interaction mm -hmm. with another co-founder, Chris Mercado, that okay. uh, kind of interjected, intervened, and uh, just broke the cycle, so, so to speak. So where can people go, though, to find more about uh, the campaign for Do Love Live, and then also, though, to get this app? And then we're going to tell everyone to come join the party one more time, but tell us where the yeah. resources are. So the Objective Foundation uh, is objectivezero.org. Okay, so, all uh, right, everyone. And make sure you head to the event as well this weekend. We want to tell everybody thank you so much for joining us here on SACCO. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1130 right here. As we